Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. This is a center of excellence video. It's the base of a player who was a client of the Spacing Guild back in the old days before 1.3 and he's now a member of the Spacing Guild and, he, and he's applying to have a center of excellence. His name is Big Exploder. Are you there? Hello. Hi. I already entered in his portal address since I don't want to show it on this video. And I will go through the portal now. And um, if you, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the link to the Spacing Guild website um, on a pinned comment on the video. So if you want the address to his base once we get the Center of Excellence article up, um, you can get it there, but I, I don't want to just show the address on the video because of, we've had, we had an incident where, well, I won't go into it. I just don't want to, I don't want too many people to see the portals unless they're going to respect the Spacing Guild guidelines, which are outlined in the Center of Excellence article. Yay, it looks like I came to the right place. Ah, cool. Um, yep, purple grass. So, yeah, this is what it looked like. Wow, this is a really cool looking planet. And there you are. Hi, Big Exploder. Hello. I don't know if you've already is built it? a... built a, um... Beacon? Mo monument here yet, but... You, oh. Do you want to you make oh. one at your base if you haven't already? Sure, let's make okay. it at the base. All right. Um. So you don't have a beacon or a, or do you? Do you have a vehicle? The, oh, or is there a comm a station? Beacon. Oh, it's a yeah. There's a comm station. Okay, I see the comm station. Good. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's it's about ten minutes away. Which meets the requirements. Just has to be at least no more than 20 minutes away by vehicle. So that's good. And while we're going, since it's 10 minutes, um, your, plan your planet reminds me that some people were talking about how, of course, a lot of people have been complaining that lush planets have very few trees and very small trees. Um, and some people were telling me that a post on Reddit that was talking about it um, got a reply from Hello Games. Um, supposedly, I haven't confirmed this, but supposedly Hello Games replied to that post, Whoa, you're ahead of me! <laughs> you're like the first person to do better at me. Probably because I'm talking, I'm not concentrating on going fast. But, um... But yeah, Hello Games is... Oh, don't, don't try to wait on me. I, I like to race, see how much faster I can be than people. Um, oh dang, now I'm stuck in a hole. Um, but yeah, Hello Games uh, supposedly said that they're working on a fix for the trees and lush planets. So hopefully we'll get some bigger yes. and more numerous trees on lush planets. Because yeah, there's like no trees on this planet. Yeah. There's like so many barren patches um, on lush plants. It used to be you'd find the occasional barren patch, but now it's like lush plants are 50% barren, 50% have grass. 50% of the I planet, them, I mean. I want them to add just a forest. Just a yeah. complete forest. That'd yeah. Be awesome. Really. It's like there's just like one or two trees here and there <laughs> instead of actual. Yeah, instead of actual big groups of trees that we used to have. Of course, they've never been like, you know, Endor level forest planets, but that at least at least they used to be, you know, have a lot of trees together. <laughs> How far ahead am I? Um, you're 29 seconds now. I have to see if I can catch up to you. So you must have had a lot of practice with the Nomad, too. 
Yeah, I went to go get that S rank multi tool that was three hours away. Oh yeah. So I had to th go three hours there and back, oh. and it took me six hours. Wait, oh I, I don't know about the three hour one. I know about a fifteen minute one. Yeah. I went to go get the three hour one. Oh, I haven't heard about that one. Were you able to get it? Yeah. Was it an alien or old. experimental? It's an S rank alien. Nice. Yeah, I stuck with my A rank alien since when I went to the 15 minute one, um, it spawned as an experimental instead of an alien. And I really liked the look of the alien ones better, so I just kept my A rank. Almost there, three more minutes. Is it day or night for you? It's night and it's raining. Of course, I think it is it always raining on this planet? Yeah, it's a tropical um, storm, I think it's called. Ah. Uh, but it's not an actual storm, it's just raining, I think. Yeah. It gets extreme storms. Yep. And that's another thing they're going to change. They're going to change back to normal storms instead of toxic. But I guess sometimes they'll be hot, sometimes they'll be cold. Yeah. Why did they change it to toxic? I could toxic anyway. I don't know. I It must have been intentional. I don't think they could do that on accident. But, I mean, it. it's fairly logical because... Acid rain happens when there's lots of carbon dioxide, so a lush planet could have to acid rain if there's lots of carbon dioxide, but I don't know. Alright, made it to my base. Man, you beat me. You're the first person so far that's beaten me on the Nomad. Good to know I'm not the ultimate vehicle the racer. <laughs> I I want to someday have um, uh, base centers of or not uh, race centers of excellence. Ooh, this is really cool looking. I love your purple grass. My old base back before 1.3 had purple grass. But yeah, I'd like to have race bases someday, but I'm kind of outvoted right now in the Spacing Guild leaders on the race base issue. There's some debate as to how we would do it, so for now we're just doing farming bases. Yep, this looks good. Yeah, I've noticed that nobody's doing hydroponic trays anymore since they require recharging and the domes don't. It's either outside or the domes. Yep. So you've got a lot of condensium. And... It's all for the living glass. What? It's all for the living glass. Living glass, great. So this is a living glass farm. Good. So living glass uses lubricant. So you've, good, you've got the... the um, Copyright and condensium for lubricant, and of course the frost crystals for glass. Is that is that the only three ingredients for living glass? Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. It I, also takes like it takes like one fourth the time that um, the other two take um, the living mix or liquid explosives and the other one. What's it called? Uh, acid. Or wait. What's it called? Uh, um, lubricant. Oh, are you talking about what it takes to build the domes? No. I was talking. I was talking about the uh, other farming ones, like oh. circuit boards and liquid explosives. Yeah. It takes uh, one fourth the time that living glass takes. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, so I'll probably be coming here a lot for living glass because I'm going to need to make living glass soon for um, making cryo pumps or whatever for making stasis devices. So this will be really good. Exploder Home 3. Nice. All of these living glass together give you around 10 million units. Wow, 10 million? Nice. But I'll be using them to make stasis devices, which are worth 18 million each. That's my, um, I'm working on a, working on trying to make some kind of system to make that stuff faster. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to leave my comm station, my little stamp of approval. Whoa, I'm still on your base territory? There we go. Wow, this is a really neat looking planet. I love the grass. I love the, the blue and the purple. It's such a neat color arrangement. It's pretty cool. I'll put it right by your comm station. If I can, there we go. Can we do the mon monument in front of my base? Oh yeah, let me make this real quick. come to you wherever you want to make it just right here is fine okay nice this is actually my first time ever seeing a player it's really really cool, cool. yep I'm hope I'm hoping they add more to it like, I think probably character models are next. Um, I don't Maybe. think they'll they'll make it so that we can actually see each other's, like, terrain, terrain destruction or enemies for a while. But, I mean, they could make a character model pretty easily. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. This is a really nice looking center of excellence that Big Exploder made. Thank you. And you can check out the information for it on the website once it goes up. So thank you all for watching, and I'll catch and we'll catch you in the next one.